Hello, this is Sophia Lijul. I am an Empower Love Coach and a Light Coach Healer. And today I bring you the life lesson number six from The Alchemist, and it's make the decision. Sometimes uh, we kind of get confused because we're in that moment of fear of making a decision. So I'll go straight. I'll deep dive <laughs> into the quote, and that is, when someone makes a decision, he's really diving in into a strong current that will carry him to place it he has never dreamed of when he first made the decision. It is easy to get over overwhelmed by the unknown and finer details of your dream. Actions will flow out of having confidence in your decision sitting on the fence will get you nowhere so i remember one day i heard i believe by abraham hicks that one of her videos that she said or he said um they said <laughs> um when you make a decision make that that's the right decision make it the right decision because you already made it you made the decision so the decision is correct and this died really beautiful about the uh, life lesson number five as well how when um just bringing that in that energy in the commitment with this decision is you know you're just choosing a path you're choosing an energy and you make the choice, boom, you're there because changes happens at the level of action. When nothing changes within myself, nothing changes in the outside. When everything changes within me, everything in the outside translates in that transformation as well. And so when you make a decision, you're kind of directing energy into that place. And in truth, it doesn't matter if it was a detour if, or if you got if you really got to the result that you wanted, because each experience gave you and informed you about something about um, who you are and your heart as well. Every single, if, if, you, if you go and see the hero's journey, every single step around the hero's journey has a purpose and has a place to be because life is in balance. There's a wholeness to life. There's a harmony to life and there's an order to life. Look at the window, look at nature. Everything has a place to be. There's no one here that is out of place. Nothing is just because is there just to be there. Nothing is adorning anything, you know, nothing like a flower is not decorating the tree. It actually has a purpose because there's an inter interconnectedness with everything in life so every single experience in your life has a purpose and maybe at this time you're not seeing the full puzzle and how every part of the puzzle uh, if every piece of the puzzle was an experience and a segment in your life perhaps you're not seeing how everything is clicking together but in the larger perspective everything has a place to be so when you connect with that energy and you see how every detour every experience provided me with perhaps a gift that i didn't see i didn't know about myself perhaps with a quality within me that now i'm so aware about it perhaps with um an experience that now i know something deeply about myself that before I didn't see and um, you access a new energy and vibration that you didn't experience before and so everything has a place to be nothing is casual in fact you nothing about yourself is casual look even the nails even the eyelashes everything has a purpose everything has a reason to be and you have a reason to be so this is also connecting to your to your dreams connecting that the dreams are there for a reason whatever is ignited in your in your heart that dream is the language of your soul as well as in the alchemist in the book they speak about the soul of the world and the universal language of the world that is that resonance that kind of whispers the soul the nudge uh, of our soul that is kind of calling us forward to our greatest expression to our um 
the experience of the truth of who we are. And as we follow that, I know there's this saying is when you follow in the direction of your heart, the universe, it, the universe sees that and in a way it brings forward and uh, reflects back to you. And so let's do a light language transmission about connecting to the clarity within yourself so you may uh, be able to make that decision from a place of clarity. And this is an important piece as well. When you are making a decision, just checking, am I making this decision from a place of love or am I making this decision from a place of fear? So how you can come back to that answer is, will I... Um, Am I making a decision right now from fear? Is it to get out of the uncomfortness that I'm feeling right now? Or is it because I truly feel and resonate, this is the vibration that I want to move towards? So when you're making a decision, just tune in. Let's say you have option A and option B, and you're right here. So you can tune into option A and just see what energy is here. Is this the energy of love? Is this the energy of well-being? Is this the energy of perhaps mm, anxiety? So just check in. When you go to B, do you do the same. You can even um, visualize like two roads. One leads you to A and one leads you to B. Start walking in the direction of A. Just check in with your body. How my body is feeling right now? What is the energetic quality that I'm feeling in my body at this moment? Okay, it's love. Okay, this is good. Okay, B. What is B? Oh, I'm gonna start walking and just check in how your body is feeling. What's the energy quality? So you want to go on the energy quality how you're going to feel in that experience. Because if you might go and make a choice of, for example, money, like, oh, I'm going to uh, stay in the right in the same uh, job or get a promotion and get this other job where I get more money. You might feel drawn and think that actually having more money is what you want. But perhaps when you do the test energetically, it doesn't feel in alignment with you. So that's the clear indication and that's also the shift. Perhaps this is the road. You, your mind is telling you that you want more money, but in truth, this road is actually what, what is going to lead you to what you actually need. Not the want, but the need, the nourishment of your heart and your soul. And you, through the fulfillment of your heart and your soul, you will connect with the energy of abundance. So abundance is going to come forward as a reflection of your inner world. And so uh, that shift is also just tuning into the energy quality. And sometimes when we want something, we think we, we want that job because it's going to make more money. And then in truth, you have to go a step further. Why do you want the money for? Perhaps you want to make more money to uh, pay for a career that is fulfilling to your heart. So actually, it's not about the money and the, the job. It's actually about following your heart, your career. And the money, it's going to allow you to be in alignment and step into your career, the career that is in alignment with your heart and your purpose. So that's where you actually want to focus on, on that energy. And so once you connect with that energy, perhaps multiple new opportunities arise because uh, they, there are multiple opportunities and possibilities in life because life is infinite. If you're standing wherever you're standing right now, just let's do this exercise really quickly. I invite you to just open your vision, just your sense vision, and just get to the wall in your room. Go towards the wall in your home. Go to the end of your neighborhood. Go into the end of your uh, country and go towards the end and of the world. Go towards the planets, towards the stars. And you can do that on your side, both sides. You can do that on your back. And that's the connection with the infinity. We believe we are, in a way, your brain and the way we're seeing, we're like, okay, we're creating structure. You know, this is the end, the container of my room, the container of my home. 
or when you see beyond, you're connecting with the infin infinity and that's the abundance that I'm speaking about. This is the infinite possibilities. Wherever you stand, there's infinite possibilities. When you tune into that vibration, by connecting with what is the calling of your heart, then you're opening up that infinite possibilities. And that is connecting to the field, to the infinite field, and bringing from the infinite to the finite, the finite within yourself, within your experience, here in the physical, in the 3D. And that's how we're creating and moving to the multi-dimensionality of our human experience, as tuning in and merging and um, bringing in the divine within us, in, in all life, really. So let's dive in. I kind of went sideways on the conversation, but I felt that this is where the conversation wanted to go to. And I usually, you know, allow whatever is coming because I know it's going to be the perfect message for whoever is uh, here listening. And so let's dive right into the live language transition. So the light language transmission is to align with the clarity within yourself, to make a choice connected and aligned from a place of love. So let's dive right in, bringing both feet into the air, connecting to the heart, breathing in, into the heart and breathing out. Akishamatishi, <laughs> Atia 
hamane at yahwa mana riatata la kwa hama yana ya rata tu hai haman ya chinyan ya ratu ayana hama at ya la kwa hamane ya tu ya la kwa haman atatalia la Ebria kwa hwana na ya ya la kwa mane ya wam Taking a deep breath in into the heart just allowing the energy to continue to move and through as the light language continues to flow through. There's been a rebalancing in your Akashic records. You're connecting to your soul chakra that is stands right above your um, head. Your connection to your divine, to your higher self. And it holds all the information of your soul, all the gifts that your soul has acquired, and just kind of downloading all that into your system, into your divine blueprint. It's been a beautiful transmission. So I just can feel that it just keeps going in this way. So just keep breathing and allowing to for the energy to flow. And just sailing the sensei Sridzia Tai Hama Tian Matalaya. Taking a deep breath in into the heart. Beautiful. There was a whole, 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 whole healing of the uh, your energetic field, your crystalline body, your light body. And there was a full activation of your soul chakra, clearing of your Akashic records, and uh, actually opening and um, clearing that access to your Akashic records as, a, as the Akashic records are kind of on the fourth uh, dimension. So it's like, you're standing on like um you're going to a tower and you're seeing from that kind of higher perspective of your life so then you can see from a higher perspective and choose from that larger perspective as well so it was opening that access of you into your being to have that larger view from so just whenever you have to make a decision step, take a step into that tower have that larger vision and see from that perspective and then you kind of step down and make the decision so that was kind of open and cleared uh for you so wow that was beautiful powerful thank you so much i'll see you on the next video